Weather was chaos. Well, I, I remember when I, I took flight training in college. And I remember the first class I had. The guy uh, sits in the left seat and I'm in the right. And we take off and he's basically telling me everything that I need to know to be a pilot. But like all at one time. And like he used to, how to start the engine and how to taxi and how to t- call the tower and tell them that you want to take off and then putting the gas in and when to rotate and all this stuff. And, and then we're flying around. He's showing me how to do turns and how to put in the flaps and take out the flaps. And, and my brain is just like scrambled eggs. Like I'm just, cause I'm, I'm literally trying to take it all in and process everything that he's doing. Cause he's, He's over there, like moving all these stu- these little buttons and knobs, and and I'm like, how does anyone ever do this? I mean, I really stressed <laughs> it stressed me out because I I can't I don't know how I'm ever gonna do this. And then then we land and it's over, and he's like, you know, so what'd you think? And I'm like, I I don't know how you guys really I don't know how anybody ever flies a plane. He's like, well, I told you everything, but it takes a long time. Let's just go it again. And so a few days later, I go on my second flight with him and my brain was still scrambled eggs, but it wasn't quite as bad as the first time. And then flight after flight after flight, all of a sudden I I know what he's going to do next. Like I know he's going to taxi and I know he's going to do all the tests and, you know, make sure the ailerons work and the rudder and all this stuff and then push in the gas and trim out the, I just, I know what he's gonna do. And then all of a sudden I'm doing it, but but he's telling me what to do the entire time. And then if I get it wrong, he's correcting it. And even landing, you know, like I'm I'm kind of landing, but then he'll say, I've got the plane and he'll take the plane over and then he'll land it. But I like landed like maybe 70% of it, but then he did the last 30%. And then eventually I'm doing it, like hours and hours and hours later time after time after time after time later. And then one day he says this very scary thing. You know what he says to me? He says, take me to the tower. And I know what that means. (laughs) Because it means it's time for me to solo. And I'm like, "Uh oh, no, I'm not, I'm not ready. He's like, yeah, yeah, you are. Like, no, no, I'm not. (laughs) He's like, yeah, you really are. I've been a sack of potatoes here. I've been sitting here for the last three times. Just, I didn't touch the controls. That was all you. Did you realize that? I'm like, well, yeah, but, but you're here. If something goes wrong, he was like, but I, but I told you and you did everything. So take me to the tower. And I literally am arguing, almost arguing with him. I'm like, I'm not ready because I don't feel ready. But I take him to the tower because he's, you know, he's the pilot instructor. And he goes up into the tower and he puts on the headphones and then he starts talking to me. He's like, okay, can you hear me? I'm like, yeah. He's like, it's just like I'm there, right? I'm like, yeah, kind of, except you're not here. (laughs) He's like, but you're going to be fine. So what do you do next? I'm like, uh, you know, I I taxi. Yeah. So go, go taxi. And then I do all the testing and I'm, and then I take off. And I remember leaving the ground and I'm flying the plane all by myself. He's in my head, but I'm flying the plane all by myself. And I'm, you know, it's a little bit of like, you know, (laughs) wee, (laughs) like I'm flying a plane. No, he was in my head. He's in, he's in my headphones. Right. But I'm flying the plane. I am soloing. This is my first solo flight. And then I have to, they call flying the pattern. I make a turn. I make another turn, I make another turn, and now I'm coming in for my landing. And so as I'm landing, like this is, you know, is there gonna be a crash landing that I can walk, or or am I gonna land and I can walk away from this thing? But here I am, and and he's talking me through it. Actually, I'm talking through it. He says, just tell me everything that you're doing. And so I, and boom, I land. And I kid you not, I, I just, I have a tear just come out of my eye because I landed and I did it by myself. It was like this fear that I'd overcome. The only problem is I have to do it two more times now. <laughs> so you have to push the gas back in and take back off, fly the pattern, come back down and land again. 
and I didn't cry the second time and I didn't cry the third time, but I'll never forget that first time when I, when I landed, uh, I t- a touch and go, they call it, you know, I did it. Now who was flying the plane? You know, the plane's kind of flying the plane. I'm, I'm controlling it and he's directing me. But now that we've come into orthodoxy, I mean, it's, it's like that to me. It's, it's like this pilot, this flight instructor, that's what a spiritual father is. And there are many things that you do over and over and over and over again. The morning prayers, the evening prayers, the fasting, the alms, going to liturgy. There's things that we do, praying the, the, the Jesus prayer, making the sign of the cross, the, you know, understanding the saints, uh, the, the Theotokos, like it's just this, at the beginning, it's too much. It's just like, I, I can't take all that in because I've never, but then there comes a time whenever it's, it's our turn to actually do it.